okay what is the radiation shield i said uh, let's see this is the one uh, surface which radiates the energy and this is the another surface which is, which is absorb the energy and again it is flame to be the first one so we consider this is the first plate okay this is the second third surface we can see okay in between we are introduced introduce the another one and this is the surface which is introduced the red plate which is mentioned it is the radiation shield now what is the work of this radiation shield whatever be the radiation comes from this one it will again back reflect back to the this same plate okay and very small amount of the heat will be come from the the shield to the third surface okay just like uh, in the furnace one i gave the example of the furnace what happened in the furnace we have the refractory bricks now what mean by refractory bricks that refractory bricks is nothing but the radiation shield so we know that in the, the furnace the more than 100 or 1000 degrees celsius is the temperature so directly the heat transfer between the surface the furnace to the surrounding is by radiation now to Control it. We can't introduce the insulin. Why? Because radiation doesn't require any media to transfer. So if you put it the insulation, then it doesn't affect. Why? Because radiation doesn't require any type of the media. So it can be transfer. Either it is the media is available or it is the media is not available. So it be transfer. So for that, what we have to do? We have to put it the shield, and that shield is nothing but the radiation shield. It means the refractory bricks that we are put it in between, so that uh, we can reduce the heat losses from the furnace to the surrounding. Okay. Now in this case, we have uh, one uh, derivation. Uh, what what is the effect of heat transfer rate when there is a no shield? Means in this case, what will be the rate of heat transfer between these two surfaces? and when we are introduced the third surface then what will be the effect of uh, the heat transfer between the this plane the first plane and the third plane okay so first we are writing the equation the net heat exchange between two planes without a shield means at this condition we are writing the equation now as this is a plane we have the equation in terms of the q so we are writing the equation as you can just note down that equation too so before that let's consider the t1 is the temperature of the first plane t2 is the temperature of the radiation shield and t3 is the temperature of the third surface okay t1 t2 t3 and t t2 and t3 consider the e1 small e1 is the emissivity of the first surface e2 is the emissivity of the radiation shield surface and e3 is the radiation or e3 is the uh, the emissivity of the third surface e1 e2 e3 so here as we are considering this plane and this plane and for that one we have this equation the q is equals to sigma into a sigma is stands for the stefan boltzmann constant don't take here is the surface tension okay a is the surface area on which the heat transfer takes place so this is the surface area on which the heat transfer takes place as t1 is the temperature of the first plane and t3 is the temperature of the third plane so we are writing this equation as t1 raised to the power 4 minus t3 temperature of this third surface upon 1 upon e1 even. even is what emissivity of the first plane and e3 is the emissivity of the third plane okay now once we write this equation this is the equation for what this is the equation for a uh, heat exchange between the two surface without shield okay now we are writing this is the we give the, this is one equation okay and after that one what we do we write the equation when we are putting the radiation shield means for this case okay so just remember this equation it is sigma a t1 raised to the power 4 minus t3 raised to the power 4 upon 1 upon e1 plus 1 upon e3 minus 1 now as per the notations and uh, the nomenclature we are writing this equation okay but there is a action of heat between this plane and this plane the green plane okay after that one so let's consider let e to be the emissivity of the radiation shield now for that case we say that if e1 is equals to the e3 means the emissivity of the first plane is equals to the emissivity of the third plane 
and e1 is not equals to the e2 emissivity of the first plane is not equals to the emissivity of the radiation shield surface now what will be the heat transfer rate between the the plane 1 2 and 3 so the net heat exchange from one surface to the third surface so we are writing that one for that one what we do first we are writing the between the first plane that is the green surface and the red surface means the the surface which radiate the energy and the shield materials okay in that case we are writing this is sigma a as it is doesn't change t1 is the temperature of the first plane t2 is the temperature of the radiation shield surface upon e1 is the emissivity of this first surface plus 1 upon e2 it is what emissivity of the radiation shield surface means like this is the green surface and this is the red surface okay so we are writing this equation one and we give here is the q1 in the first uh, equation we write only the q okay without shield that is our notation q is the rate heat, net of uh, rate uh, rate of heat transfer between the two surface without shield and the q1 is the net rate of heat transfer between the when there is a shield now this third equation i am writing now what happened and another equation the q1 equals to the sigma a t2 raised to the power 4 minus t3 raised to the power 4 upon 1 upon e2 plus 1 upon e3 minus 1 this is gives us see how i just say now this is the heat transfer between the first surface and the second surface second surface is what radiation shield and this is the equation between the radiation shield surface and the third surface i just tell you how okay so look this first we are what we do first we are taking the equation when there is no shield means between this surface this two surface after that one the net heat transfer when there is a radiation shield means first green surface and this one for that one we are writing sigma a t1 raised to the power 4 minus this one t2 raised to the power 4 upon 1 upon e1 and 1 upon e2 then there is a exchange of heat between the red surface and green surface between these two and for that one what we write the equation equation as sigma into a this is the temperature of the radiation shield surface so i am writing here t1 t2 raised to the power 4 minus t3 raised to the power 4 upon emissivity of the radiation shield surface that is e2 upon e3 minus 1 okay so we are writing this is the without shield so it here is mentioned the q and for the with shield we are writing it is q1 okay now we are writing this three equations we just write, uh, just note down that part after this what we do when e1 is equals to the e3 now remember first surface green surface e1 red surface second surface e2 third surface green surface e3 okay green i am just telling you okay for your understanding it doesn't mean that it is in the, in, the, in the derivation so first surface second surface third surface first two first and third surface is the we have the two surfaces in between the radiation shield material that is the third sur uh, second surface we introduce now the case is what e1 is equals to the e2 means the emissivity of the first surface is equals to the emissivity of the third surface for that case what we consider the emissivity of the first surface that is the green surface and emissivity of the third surface that is the green surface now we are equating the equation number 2 and 3 now if this is the case the e1 is equals to the e3 and we equation equating the equation 2 and 3 which is the equation 2 and 3 i am telling show you the equation number 2 okay and this is the equation number 3 now i am equating this two okay so after the equating what we get now when we are equating the q1 equals to the q1 so this is the cancel now i am taking this is the right, left hand side is equals to the left hand side now what is here sigma a sigma a is cancel it is a common term now as say that e1 is equals to the e3 emissivity of the first surface is equals to the emissivity of the third so i am writing e1 and here i am uh, instead of e1 what i am writing e3 or I, I, on the e3 i am writing e1 whatever it is now when you are solving this two equation 2 and 3 then what do you get you get in terms of the temperature because the some common sigma is common it will be cancel as here is the e1 e2 e2 and here is the e1 
so these terms are also cancel okay now what is the remaining remaining is this temperature t1 raised to the power 4 minus t2 raised to the power 4 is equals to the t2 raised to the power 4 minus t3 raised to the power 4 you just imagine it okay it is a simple uh, the equating terms the common terms always cancel left hand right hand okay this is the value as we consider the e1 is equals to the e3 that's why this term also get cancelled denominator sigma a is also cancelled now what is the remaining the temperatures and now when you are equating these temperatures you get the equation as if you doesn't understood these things let me know okay so we consider the e1 equals to the e3 and for after that one we got this equation t2 raised to the power 4 is equals to the 1 upon 2 t1 raised to the power 4 plus t3 raised to the power 4 and we give this is the equation number 4 we are equating the 2 and 3 equation okay now what we do we put the value of 4 that is the, the, the value of t2 the equation 4 in equation 2 now which is the equation 2 you see here This is the equation number two. Okay. And the condition already we noted here. So what we do after equating these two, we got in terms of the temperature. Now I put the value of T2 in this equation. Okay. In equation number two. So once I put it the value of equation number, uh, the equation four in equation two, then I get this equation q1 equals to the sigma a 1 upon e2 plus 1 upon e2 minus e1 plus 1 upon e2 minus 1 and 1 upon 2 t1 raised to the power 4 minus t3 raised to the power 4 so i put the value of this t2 in equation here once i put it the value of t2 here this value okay and after the solving i get this equation this is the equation number 5 okay so you just practice uh, when uh, uh, at your home so step by step you will understood how to uh, the, the this equation comes okay it means q1 is equals to the sigma a1 upon e1 upon e2 minus 1 and after putting the value of this t2 in equation number 4 we got this one so this is the equation number 5 okay now what we do after this, we say that the E1 is equal to E2, is equal to the E. Now, this is our consideration that the emissivity of the first plane is equal to the emissivity of the second plane is equal to the emissivity, is equal to the emissivity, means the emissivities are same. Now, if the emissivity are same, then what we do, we are putting the E1, E2 as a E. And then we simplify this equation. So, after simplification, okay so once we simplify this equation so equation 5 becomes like this the q1 equals to sigma a 2 by e minus 1 1 upon 2 t1 raised to the power 4 minus t3 raised to the power 4 again this is equation number 6 now this we solve when there is a radiation shield. Okay. Now we see when there is a no shield. That time what is the equation? The Q is equals to the sigma into the A T1 raised to the power 4 minus T3 raised to the power 4 upon 1 upon E1 plus 1 upon E3 minus 1. That equation. Remember the equation number 1. Okay. For the claim. Now we say that E1 is equals to the E3 equals to the E. Now, what will be the equation for that case? So, equation 1 becomes like this. K is equal to sigma A 2 by E minus 1. How? Let's see first. Look at this equation number 1. This one. Now, what is the condition? Condition is what? E1 is equal to the E3 is equal to the 1. Okay. Now, we are writing this and this is the equation for without shield. So, I am writing K is equal to sigma A T1 raised to the power 4 minus t3 raised to the power 4 upon 1 upon e plus 1 upon e minus 1. Okay. okay. So that's why we are writing this equation. Now what we do, we are solving the equation number 6 and 7.
ओके आता काय केलं आपण दिस इज द इक्वेशन सिक्स इक्वेशन इट गिव्ह वेन देर इज अ रेडिएशन शील्ड अँड द इक्वेशन दिस वन द इक्वेशन वन अँड द कंडिशन बाय पुटिंग द इ वन इक्वल टू द इ थ्री इक्वल टू द इ वी गॉट दिस इक्वेशन नो वी आर इक्वेटिंग द इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स अँड इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन ओके वी आर इक्वेटिंग द इक्वेशन नंबर सिक्स अँड इक्वेशन नंबर सेवन सो आफ्टर द इक्वेटिंग वॉट वी गेट So when we solve this one, we definitely two by e minus one cancel, sigma is cancel, and we are equating these two terms. Okay, and for that one, what we do? We have the equation as the q one is equal to the my is equal to one upon two of q. If you see here, this is the common. This is also cancel. Only one upon two is remaining. So we say that the q is equal to the The Q1 is equal to the 1 upon 2 of Q. It means if there is a radiation shield, a third surface is into a second the radiation shield surface is introduced, then we can reduce the rate of it transfer by half. Okay, but this is the case only for the plate surfaces. And the same thing is not for the the tube or the sphere. It may be the different because the area is different. Okay. Now what we do? It shows that the addition of the shield if it transpires reduces to the half of the initial value. Now what we say we consider when there is a n number of shields are employed. Now we are putting only the one shield, and that's why we can get a half of it. Now if there is a n number of shield, now one two rather than one, it may have the two, it may have the three. So if let's consider it is the n number of. Now, when there is n number of shields are employed, each having the same emissivities as the initial planes, and in that case, what will be the equation? The equation is Q suffix n. N stands for the number of shield is equal to the one upon n plus one into the Q. Q is the without shield one. Okay, so this is the equation. So we can say that the Q with n shield. Is equals to the one upon n plus one q without shield. So we we would like to prove this one. The q n is equals to the one upon n plus one by q. It means the q with n shield is equals to the one upon n plus one q without shield. This is the relation between the with shield and without shield. Okay. So this is the derivation. I know uh, mostly they ask for the ten marks in the examinations. Okay. so in the university examinations and it's a very simple one uh, there is only the two things that you have to remember the one thing you have to remember the equation for the plane the radiation equation for the plane which is q is equal to sigma a into t1 raised to the power 1 minus t2 or t3 raised to the power 4 whatever it is because here we are considering the third temperature that's why it is t3 upon emissivity of the two planes that is 1 upon e1 plus 1 upon e2 Or e3 minus one, that will be the first equation. And second, we are taking when with the shield, and that time we are writing the two equations: the one equation between the the first plane and the second plane, that is the radiation shield. <coughs> Sorry. And the second equation between the radiation shield to the third plane. Then you are equating, finding the value of the temperatures. Now put it the value of temperature to the any equation, either the two or three, okay? And then comparing between the the radiation shield equation and without shield, and you will get this type of the form, okay? It's a very simple. Uh, you just try this one, the steps at your home. You will definitely understood what exactly it is. Fine.